So I was so pleased that the UC Online team started the process by thinking about this is not a solved problem. This is an unsolved problem. Let's try to learn from what works and what doesn't work in the Berkeley experience. Let's make a UC experience where we all are going and trialing it before we say this works and move forward and put a lot of money into this initiative. No, I wanted to have exactly the same paper experience. So they're learning online, but their ex eventual exam is on paper. So that was the same. Same population, same exam, and I was able to make, to really research, does it work? And I, as I mentioned on the phone, what I learned was fascinating to me. In the face-to-face -face class, people just come to class. I have three different things you do, three different categories of things you do with my class, CS10, Beauty and Joy of Computing, and they fall into one thing per day. So it's five different days, but, but two of them are repeats. So the first day is you go to lecture. Mondays you go to lecture. Tuesday you go to a two-hour lab. Lecture is a one-hour lecture. Tuesday you go to a two-hour two -hour lab. Wednesday you go to lecture again. Thursday you go to a two-hour lab, and Friday you go to a discussion. So you're doing something every day. And if I were to ask my students, typically students are assigned 30 students per section. That's kind of how we break up, because our lab holds 30 computers. That's really, you know, it could go bigger if our lab was bigger. But 30 is a nice number, actually. So I asked my TAs, you know, you started the semester with 30 students. How are you eight weeks in? It's like, oh, 29, 30, it's about full. Like, you know, some students have dropped the course because they didn't do all the exams, but for the most part, everybody who's in the class still is going to those activities. They're going to lecture because maybe I, I bring it. You know, I try to bring my enthusiasm. Lab is, that's where you do the learning. So they know, and that's where I've had academic interns. So they used to call them lab assistants, people who are able to walk around and help.